writing to Mary, as, as you conceived by the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Come, Mary, full grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are all among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it yeah, thine unto me according to thy word. Come, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are all among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. How many for grace the Lord is with thee, blessed are all among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Go forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we can salute the army, and if we are going to have a day, and then we will be able to do it in our own. You will come to us, and we 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 will come to us. Quando il tuo seo sfondi tu ma quando le felici per i tristi in cielo quando felici vieni di tuus e vede luce in tuo verità per tuo milzi vede luce non tuo luce non ti monti un santo tuo ma nella pena per la tua e in tuo è volontà di te e ne impedisci che abbia un tutto mai un quando te voti vincita da Dio stai un sfai sfai tristi tali ma mai riguardo il tuo basso mai sfai ne Dio cuore ma tocco per te voti mi salutare voti us mai e Dio us mai us gloria a Padre e Figlio e Spirito e Santo si potrà in principio e non che sempre e in secula seculorum. Amen. In tuoi volontari dei, e dei critifica di un tutto meo, audi per nostri nobili domini, qui fece cielo e terra. Confitio de omnipotenti, via tu Maria, tu Gigi, via te terra e terra, di Maria, tu Maria, Battista, Santo e Cosi, Spetro e Spano, via tu Maria, Maria, di Ami, Ami tu Santi, tu Maria, Spratez, qui ebbe da venire mi spogitazione, me vuol offre, me occupa, me occupa, me a massima occupa, e io prego beata Maria, mi sento di Gina, 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 mi sento di Sancti se fosse l'esperto di Paolo, ogni tuo santi e se ti ricorda, qui è il tuo avvenimento, scopri già il Signore nel vero e corre. Me occupa, me occupa, me la massima occupa. E io prego e alta, ma vi amo sempre di Gina, per gli altri mi cari ma canti un, per gli altri mi vanno a battista, sempre se fosse l'esperto di Paolo, ogni santo se te il Padre, orrare con me. Amen. Dominus Obiscum, et con Spirito Tuo, Orlevus. Sacerdotes Tui, Domini, in Due Giustizia, Met Sancti Tui, Exalted, Prote, Damet, Servum Tuum, Non Evertas, Facium Christi Tui, Memento Domine Dave, Et Omnes Mansuitus Niseius. Gloria, Padre, Figlio, Spirito e Santo, si coderat in principio e dunque sempre, ed in secula seculorum. Amen. Sacerdote, Tui Domine, in Tua giustizia, me sancti Tui exultant, prote David servum Tu non evertas faciem Christi Tui. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Christ, 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 Christ,
et in terra tax minimus bonae voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracias a ti nos divi prorote magnum gloriam tuam. Domine Deus ex celestis, Deus Pater onipotens, Domine Filuli Genite Iesu Christe, Domine Deus Onius Dei Filius Patris, qui tolis peccatum mundi miserere nobis, qui tolis peccatum mundi suscite deplicazione nostra, qui sese dextra Patris miserere nobis, Gloriam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, con Santo Spiritu in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Exo vobis, et con Spirito tuo, ordemus. Deus, cuius grazie beatus, vil fritus pontifex lucidis meritorum signis excellente refulsi, presa nobis propitius, o Deus sempre patrocinio muniamur, cuius octrina ad apetenda celestia infomamur. Per Domino nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium tuum, qui tecum vivida regna ad uneritatis solitus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde Deus. Deus, qui beatum un regum et guardum, confessorem tuum, eternitatis gloria coronasti, fac nos praesmus, literem venerari in teris, ut cum eo regnari possimus in cei. Deus, qui beatum Petrum, confessorem tuum admirabilis penitentiae et altissime contemplationis muda illustrari di natus ex, da nobis raesimus, ut eus suffragantibus veritis carne mortificati facilius celestia capeamus. Per Domino nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium tuum, qui tecum vivida regna ad uneritatis solitus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexuri di post... Lexio Pistone, Pilazzi, Pauli, Aposti et Ebreus. Frates, plures factisum sacerdotes, id circo quod morte proheberenter permedere. Gaesus autem, eo quod mane ac in aeternum, sempiternum habet sacerdotium. Undi et salvare in perpetuum potes accedentes, per temit ipsum ad Deum, sempre vivens ad antiparlandum pro nobis. Talis enu dicebat, ut nobis esit pontifex, sanctus, innocenti, volutus, segregatus, epectatoribus, ed excelsio celis fatus, qui non habet necessitatem codidie, quem amotum sacerdotes, prius pro suis delectis hostia sofere di ende pro populi, hoc enim fecit semo se ipsum offerendo, Jesus Christus, Dominus noster. Deo gratias. Sacerdotes eius induam salutari, et sancteus exultation exultabunt, illo producam corno David, parravi lucernam Christo meo. Alleluia, alleluia, iurravi Dominus et nomine tebi Deum, tu es escedus in eternum secundum ordine Melchizedek. Alleluia. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, sequentia Sancti Evangelii, secundum et peum. Gloria, Tibi Domine. In ino tempo redixit Iesus discipulis suis, vigilati, quia nescetis qua hora Dominus veste venturus hit, illud autem citote, qua uniam si sceri pata familias, qua hora fur venturus exit, vigilare tuti quia non sinerit perfo di Domus Suam. Ideo et vos est oti torrati, qui al quenescitis horra filius omnis venturus est, qui is putas est videli sevus et crudemus quem constitui dominus suus super familiam suam, unde ti discitum in tempore? Beatus ilei servus, quem con veneri dominus eius, in venerit si facientem. Amen, digo vobis, quoniam super omnia bona sua constituit eum. Laus, tibi Christi. On this feast 
on this octave day of the feast of St. Wilfrid of York, an apostle to the Saxons. The epistle is taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. Brethren of other priests, there was a succession since death denied them permanence, whereas Jesus continues forever, and his priestly office is unchanging, which is why he can give eternal salvation to those who through him make their way to God. He lives on still to make intercession on our behalf. Such was the high priest that suited our need, holy and guiltless and undefiled, not reckoned among us as sinners, lifted high above all the heavens, one who has no need to do as those other priests did, offering a twofold sacrifice day by day, first for his own sins, then for those of the people. What he has done, he has done once for all, and the offering was himself, our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Gospel is the continuation of that according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Watch ye, because you know not what hour your Lord will come. But this know ye, that if the good man of the house knew at what hour the thief would come, he would certainly watch, and would not suffer his house to be broken open. Wherefore be you also ready, because of what hour you know not the Son of Man will come. Who thinkest thou is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath appointed over his family to give them meat in season? Blessed is that servant whom, when his Lord shall come, he shall find it so doing. Amen, I say to you, he shall place him over all his goods. How many for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi, beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast mass as we said on this octave day of St. Wilfrid of York. Here, of course, he is the co-patron of the Sussex Mission and, of course, in many ways we might say he was the original founder of the Sussex Mission, being, as he is venerated, the Apostle to the South Saxons. He lived between 634 AD and 709. He is one of the greatest and also one of the most controversial of the English saints. He directly influenced the move away from Celtic to the more orderly Roman church practices and is best known for championing and winning the case for the Roman as opposed to the Celtic method of calculating the date of Easter and the famous Synod of Whitby in 664. He became Bishop of York with a sea covering the whole of Northumbria, built magnificent stone churches at Ripon and Hexham. He acquired vast land holdings and established monasteries in Northumbria, Mercia, Sussex and the Isle of Wight and converted Sussex, the last vestige of paganism, to Christianity. He was the confidant of kings and queens, but made many powerful enemies and was twice banished from Northumbria. He made three journeys on foot and horseback through Europe to Rome and was not afraid to seek papal jurisdiction over both crown and church where he felt badly treated. His life was threatened many times, being shipwrecked and nearly killed by natives off the coast of Sussex, imprisoned in Northumbria by the king, and twice nearly murdered whilst travelling abroad. What a life! We also commemorate today, of course, the octave of uh, St Edward, uh, King and Confessor, whose octave day falls tomorrow. He, of course, is venerated as a patron saint of uh, this country. And today we commemorate St. Peter of, Alicant of Alcantara uh, from Spain. Uh, his father, Peter Gravita, was the governor of the province and his mother was of the noble family of Sanabia. After a course of grammar and philosophy in his native town, he was sent at the age of 14 to the University of Salamanca. Returning home, he became a Franciscan in the convent of the Stricter Observance of Anaxaretes in 1515. At the age of 22, he was sent to found a new community of the Stricter Observance at Badajoz. He was ordained priest in 1524, and the following year made guardian of the convent of St Mary of the Angels at Robredillo. A few years later, he began preaching with much success. He preferred to preach to the poor, and his sermons, taken largely from the prophets and sapiential books, breathed the tenderest human sympathy. The reform of the Discalced Friars had at that time when Peter entered the order, besides the convents in Spain, the custody of St. Maria Pietatis in Portugal, subject to the General of the Observance. 
Having been elected minister of St. Gabriel's province in 1538, Peter set to work at once. At the chapter of Placentia in 1540, he drew up the constitutions of the stricter observance. But his severe ideas met with such opposition that he renounced the office of provincial and retired with John of Avila into the mountains of Arapida in Portugal, where he joined Father Martin at Santa Maria in his life of eremitical solitude. Soon, however, other friars came to join him and several little communities were established, Peter being chosen guardian and master of novices at the convent of Perez. In 1560, these communities were erected into the province of Arabida. Returning to Spain in 1553, he spent two more years in solitude and then journeyed barefoot to Rome and obtained permission from Julius III to found some poor convents in Spain under the jurisdiction of the General of the Conventuals. Convents were established at Pedrosa, Placentia, and elsewhere. In 1556, they were made a commissariat, with Peter as superior, and in 1561, a province under the title of St. Joseph. Not discouraged by the opposition and ill success his efforts at reform had met with in St. Gabriel's province, Peter drew up the constitutions of the new province with even greater severity. The reform spread rapidly into other provinces of Spain and Portugal. Now, you may have deduced from the time of, uh, or the stirrings of the Reformation uh, in Europe, and note that despite what Luther and others say, already there were reforming movements within the church. Uh, already at this time, we know there are various priestly societies, oratories, uh, being founded to uh, uh, speak to holiness among priests, to encourage priests to become holier. Uh, various religious orders went through reform. And here, St. Peter of Alcantara uh, is uh, reforming uh, the Franciscans, trying to get them back to basics, as it were. Uh, they had, of course, like others before them, and in various different religious orders, it's often a phenomena. Uh, the order becomes something of an institution. It receives uh, some wealthy endowments. It becomes comfortable. The life becomes comfortable. They become well-fed, well-drunk, uh, uh, and uh, they uh, begin to relax in their uh, observances of the rule. Now, and remember with the Franciscans, of course, that the whole point of uh, St. Francis, his own example, of course, was to be completely mendicant, was not to live in convents, but to go in pairs, preaching the gospel, walking uh, the roads. So um, whenever you hear phrases like discalced, uh, that means uh, barefooted. Uh, so around this time, of course, you have uh, St. Peter uh, reforming, uh, introducing the discalced friars, meaning the sandalless friars. Uh, and of course, uh, the other day we commemorated St. Teresa of Avila, uh, who also well, introduced a reform for the discalced Carmelites, the sandalless Carmelites. So, uh, various times, so even during the Reformation, actually reform and a return to basics and holiness was occurring uh, in the church. Uh, it just, of course, was uh, not, not quite what the reformers wanted. The reformers, of course, were actually uh, despite what they say, uh, more motivated by politics uh, than necessarily true religion. Anyway, that aside, today, of course, is uh, the octave day, as we said, of St. Wilfrid. And St. Wilfrid, of course, is our patron here. What can we ourselves take from St. Wilfrid? He, of course, converted uh, pagan Sussex. And in many ways today, my brothers and sisters, Sussex is not so different now, perhaps, from what it was when uh, Wilfrid first came. Uh, indeed, uh, paganism and occultism uh, has often been connected with Sussex. Uh, there are various uh, places dotted around the county uh, where uh, strange things are said to uh, have gone on or still even go on. Uh, there is one uh, wood, for example, uh, just north of Worthing, uh, outside of Finden, uh, where it is, and I have been there, it is true that uh, no birds sing. 
there is in fact a little old church in the middle of that wood, uh, a beautiful church too. But uh, to walk to it, you do have to walk through these woods where there is an absolute absence of bird song. It's also a place uh, where you do not let your dog off the lead, uh, as so many have gone missing uh, in that place. And uh, at the top of the hill, uh, around that wood, uh, there's rumoured to be uh, a place uh, where all sorts of occultist type things go on. It is in fact a, uh, a, a crossing of uh, ley lines uh, in that place, which of course are always very fascinating to those interested in the occult. Uh, here in Brighton, uh, of course, uh, there are pagans. Uh, uh, there are people who, who literally uh, admit uh, and say that they are pagans. Uh, one time there was even a retail shop, uh, there was a pagan retail shop. Uh, they, you could buy uh, skulls and black candles and all sorts of other things. And not so many years ago there was uh, a spate amongst uh, the churches of increased vigilance uh, during the administration of Holy Communion as uh, uh, there have been reports uh, of people taking uh, the hosts uh, and not consuming them and taking them away uh, to do uh, occultist things with them. Uh, the rite of a uh, black ritual mass or, or satanic mass for example requires uh, a consecrated host to be desecrated. And of course these things uh, fascinate people, they interest people. There is, uh, as we approach uh, Halloween, uh, gradually we're already seeing now pumpkins in the shop. I might say we saw Christmas cards and Christmas decorations before we saw Halloween uh, paraphernalia this year. Um, we're not even past uh, a bonfire night yet. But <coughs> Um, as we draw near towards Halloween at the end of this month, uh, we will see, of course, a greater preponderance uh, of witches' hats and cobwebs and uh, um, all sorts of other uh, weird and wonderful uh, costume ideas and decorations and all the rest of it. As people are genuinely fascinated with the macabre, are uh, genuinely fascinated with death. And here, my brothers and sisters, of course, is where this is the place where, as it were, uh, we can speak uh, to our friends and family and to our community and to our society around us about death and about the gospel and how, of course, for us as Christians, and it's important too to remember that uh, Halloween is actually a Christian uh, festival. Uh, it's All Hallows Eve uh, is, is the derivation because, of course, the first of uh, November is All Saints Day and rather than death the theme really of course is of life and indeed of eternal life of the prospect of eternal life of the triumph of Christ by virtue of his resurrection over death and so this fascination and preoccupation and uh, that people have uh, with <coughs> death and things ghoulish and ghosts and spirits and all that kind of rubbish that uh, uh, people get excited about at Halloween uh, is an opportunity for us, my brothers and sisters, to speak to the gospel, speak to eternal life, speak to the lives of the saints, speak to the fact that death is no more. Speak to the fact that often uh, a lot of this um, occultist stuff is rubbish and is nonsense. But also, and if necessary, speak to the fact that some of it is not. Some of it is serious. Some of it is very seriously uh, um, uh, demonic. And indeed, fascinations with um, uh, paganism, fascinations with occult practices, um, if people are uh, not careful, well, as, as anyone who's watched any Hollywood film about a Ouija board, will know uh, these things can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know what you're playing with. And indeed, of course, there are those who uh, seek to divine uh, uh, information from the other side, etc. Uh, 
let me be clear about what Scripture tells us. Scripture tells us uh, that Scripture, rather than suggesting that this, these things do not happen or cannot be, warns us to stay away from them. And largely, my brothers and sisters, through uh, common sense, you have no idea, these people have no idea who is whispering to them. So-called mediums, they have no idea who these, uh, where these voices come from. Similarly, with um, uh, the thought of haunted houses and etc. Uh, again, one has to be very careful uh, to understand that uh, in many ways there are no such things as ghosts, not in the way that most people conventionally think of them. Uh, there are certainly um, uh, spirits, however, uh, who uh, relish or enjoy the particular negative uh, um, impact and vibrations uh, of tragic events uh, that have occurred in the past. For example, um, at Auschwitz, or um, if you visit Auschwitz, of course, uh, like that wood uh, in uh, Sussex, uh, there is no bird song to be heard there. So awful uh, was the evil that was committed there. Uh, but in other places, uh, and when we think of haunted houses and castles and that kind of thing, if you think of the history there, uh, all sorts of tragic and awful events have occurred. And sometimes there may indeed be some reverberations, as it were, from the negativity that has taken place there, and that my brothers and sisters, often feeds evil spirits, that often feeds uh, demons. They relish and enjoy that sort of negativity. They enjoy that sort of uh, evil ambiance, and they will play on people. Uh, they will play on people's fears. They will play on people's uh, imagination. Remember that um, angelic beings, spiritual beings, do have the ability to uh, play with your mind. Remember in our vocational discernment series, we uh, warned against uh, being over-reliant on emotions and try to clear one's head uh, of thoughts rather than uh, be full of imaginations because uh, these things can be influenced, uh, can be manipulated uh, by spiritual beings whom we cannot see. All of which uh, leads me to say that, of course, we should try to discourage trying to discourage people uh, from uh, participating uh, in such uh, practices. It's one thing, you know, uh, little children wearing uh, Spider-Man outfits or uh, whatever and going trick-or-treating, as long as they're careful, as long as they're safe, as long as there's somebody with them to look after them, all that is fine. That's, that's quite innocent and, and a bit of fun. Um, but... Uh, usually teenagers and young adults, uh, as per the films, are the ones inclined to buy Ouija boards um, or to try and recreate some kind of paganistic or occultist practice. And if you hear of anything like that, you should warn them uh, in no uncertain terms to desist and to forget about it, uh, because they can inadvertently uh, open up uh, all sorts of um, portals uh, for spirits that they cannot control, uh, for forces that they cannot see. And so, my brothers and sisters, if we would follow after the example of St Wilfrid, then we too, in our own time, need to address uh, the kind of uh, alternative spiritualities and, uh, and um, uh, paganism and occultic practices that are still around uh, in our city of Brighton and in our county of Sussex. Um, this, of course, is not a uh, popular thing uh, to discuss. Um, I doubt very many other clergy uh, in the county uh, talk about it. Um, and I only bring it up because of the approaching time of Halloween, but also after the example of our saint, who was bold, of course, to proclaim the gospel, to proclaim the gospel of eternal life, to proclaim the gospel of love. And of course, that's the thing with 
all these pagan occultists and satanic practices and they are even today suggesting for example that satanism is is, is another form of um uh caring uh they're, they're trying to um uh, uh overturn as it were the ne the negative uh connotations that it usually has um we must be careful my brothers and sisters to ensure that people are um aware of the dangers but also too are aware of the gospel aware of the opportunities to be healed and the opportunities to be loved and the opportunities to know a true God uh, and know eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Credo in unum Deum, Atrem Omnipotentem, Fracorum Celi et Tere, Visibilium Omnium et Invisibilium, Et in unum Dominum Iesum Christum Filium de Unigenitum, Et ex Patinam Temanti Omnia Secula, Deum de Deum Lumen de Lumine, Deum Verum de Deum Vero, Genitum non Factum Consustantialem Patri, Pecum Omnia Factus Sum, Qui brotter nos homines e brotter nos un salutem, descendi dei cenis, et di canatus est de Spiritus Sancto ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus et si ampro nobis opansio privatu passus e sepultus est, et resurrexi tersi et die secundus scripturas, et descendi in cielo sedere et exeram patris, et iterum venturus est un glori unicane, vivos e mortuos, cuius veni non erit finis. Et in Spiritum Sanctum Dominum et Vivificantem, qui ex Patri procedit, qui cum Patri et Filio semul adoretur et glorificatur tu in ocultus espe profetas, et unam Sanctam Catholicam et Apostolicam Ecclesia, confitio uno baptismo in remissione peccatorum, et ex specto resurrectione mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Axel and Domino Suaviscum, Echo Spirit of Sio, or Rebus. Veritas meis misericordia mecum ipso, et in nomine meis altabitur, conu eius.
secula seculorum. Amen. Amen. Domino suaviscum, et cum spirito tuo, sus un corda, habemus al Domino. Gracias et amus Domino Deo nostro. Dignum et justum est, veri dignum et justum et tecum et salutari nos di vicembre et ubico et gracias agere Domine Sante Pater omnipotens et tenet Deus. Per Christum Dominum nostrum vecum et statum tuum laudum angeli ad random nationis tremens potestates, ceri cerum che vetutis e beate serafim, socius votazioni concerebran, cum vivus in nostris voci sultim iti ubes e fricamur, supplici confessione di cementes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth,
Cuando es todo aspecto de todo todo Cristo. Secula seculorum. Amen. Arnepus. Preceptis altaribus maleti de venis rusiare formatia. Demus dice. Ad nostri requis in cieli, sancti vicetum nomen tuum, ad veni ad regum tuum, faithful altas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Padre nostro, in quale grande nobis te hodie, dimitri nobis, debita nostra, sigur nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, ad nenus in lucas in tenacia. Nossa Mano. Terra minha secula, seculor. E com espírito tu. Agnus Dei, qui tales peccato punti, misere mentis. Agnus Dei, qui tales peccato punti, misere mentis. Agnus Dei, qui tales peccato punti, misere mentis. Ece agnus Dei, ece qui tolit peccatum mundi. Domine nonsum dignus ut intres ut tectum meum, sen cantum de gravo e sen nabitur anima mea. Domine nonsum dignus ut intres ut tectum meum, sen cantum de gravo e sen nabitur anima mea. Domine nonsum dignus ut intres ut tectum meum, sen cantum de gravo e sen nabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online are unable, therefore, to receive the Blessed Sacrament. We invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, calm at least spiritually, into my heart, 
As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum et cum Spiritum Orde Redemptionis eterne Paculus Asias is suplices Domine tuam clemenciam de precavur Ut viati Wilfridi confessoris tui atque pontificis intercedensibus medicis eterna capiamus dones adultis. Ero Domino nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivus aregnia tu veritati suritus sancti Deus. Ero mia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde. Refecti cibu potuque celesti Deus nostre, te supplices exoramus, ut in cui us hec commemorazioni pecetibus, e us muriamo ret fregibus. Quaesus onipotens Deus, ut qui celesti alimente pecetibus, intercedente e beato Petro, confessori tuo, per hec contra omni adversa muriamo. Per Domino nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivi da regna tu veritati suritus sancti Deus, per la mia secula seculorum. Amen. Amen. 
Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, et emisa est, Deo gratia. Nome Domini Benedictum, ex omnum cadusque in secula, ad utorum nostrum, Domine Domini, qui feci celum et terram, benedicat vos omnipotentes. Pate, et filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Amen. Dominus Vabiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, initium Sancti Evangelii secundum Giovanna, Gloria Sibi Domine. In principio ora il verbo, ma 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 Ma non è di te il lux, è lo testo mori bevere, il lumen è il lux vero, qua lumina tabla, ma non è di niente, ma non è di niente. E mori verati, mori sulle sue facto, se sono non sono con i occhi, i propri veri, i sono non li ci perdono. Qua qua la tempo ci perdono, deve essere stato, figlio se, fieri, che è scritto in te il nome di Elis. Qui non è sangue, 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 Deo gratias. Hail Mary, full grace and Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full grace and Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this vale of tears. Turn, then, most gracious Africa, thy eyes of mercy toward us, and out of this our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O lovely, most sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And let us pray. O God, who art our refuge and our strength, look down in mercy on thy people who cry to thee, and by the intercession of the glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all thy saints. In mercy, witness hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend Amen. us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust out to hell, Satan, and all wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. May St. Wilfred of York pray for us. St. Edward of England pray for us. St. Peter of Alcantara pray for us. St. Catherine of Stelling Pray for us, and Richard of Chichester, pray for us, and Louina of Alpiston, pray for us, Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us, Our Holy Guardian Angels, pray for us, Our Heavenly Patron Saints, pray for us, Our Lady Queen of Heaven, all the angels and saints, pray for us. 